Is it safe to say you ain't think about going anywhere else? Why would I be? You know, I don't even think it makes sense. It's almost like I'm not willing to sell myself out. I don't enjoy what the NBA as a whole is becoming. I just feel like it doesn't take having all of the best players. He's not cut from that cloth. Oh, now I'm going to put my foot in the ground. I want out. Damian Lillard has requested a trade out of town. I don't have much of an appetite for building. I just ain't interested in that. Damian Lillard didn't get it done. You're good, but you're not good enough. I don't think they owe him anything. The Portland Trail players better be very careful how they handle it. If you're asking to only go to one place, you're basically saying, I'm going there and I'm going to make sure that you get nothing back for me. He's got swept three times. Has he gotten to the finals? I thought real G's moved in silence. <laughs> But before we continue, I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. With over 80 million downloads, Raid Shadow Legends is free to play on Android or iOS, and there are literally a billion ways to customize your champions, and you will need to if you want to defeat the bosses that cause havoc in Raid. Now, personally, my top three favorite reasons to play Raid are the awesome champions with over 700 champions to choose from from 16 factions, the intense bosses, the daily clan events, and of course, dare I say, the heart and soul of Raid Shards. Summon your champions now. If those examples are not enough, are you looking for a new challenge in Raid Shadow Legends? Well, you're in luck. They've just added a fearsome new boss, Akamori the Phantom Shogun. This undead general is guarding everything you need for accessory ascension, a new feature that allows you to upgrade your gear to even greater heights. And if you somehow manage to miss out on the incredible animated limited series, Raid Call of the Arbor, then you can check out all 10 episodes on the official Raid Shadow Legends YouTube channel right now. Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses for new players only. Thanks again to Raid for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into the video. Do you like the feeling of getting lied to? I don't. And after years of telling us that he would never play for a super team, Damian Lillard has demanded a trade. And okay, that's fine. Damon spent 11 seasons in Portland. Loyalty has run its course. He wants to compete for a title. Nobody blames him for that. Despite wearing the word loyalty on his chest for all 11 of those years in Portland, Damian Lillard has also requested to only be traded to the Miami Heat. And both he and his agent have acted in such an unprofessional manner lately that the NBA had to go out and send an official memo to all 30 teams, essentially telling them to ignore the words of Damian Lillard agent. What were those words? Well, Damian Lillard's agent has been accused of calling NBA franchises and telling them directly that if Damian Lillard were to be traded to their team, he would not play for them. What? That sounds like the plot of a movie. Instead, in the NBA's memo, they said, quote, they interviewed Goodwin, Lillard's agent, and Lillard, and also spoke with several NBA teams to whom Goodwin spoke. Goodwin denied stating or indicating to any team that Lillard would refuse to play for them. Goodwin and Lillard affirmed to us that Lillard would fully perform the services called for under his player contract in any trade scenario. The relevant teams provided descriptions of their communications with Goodwin that were mostly, though not entirely, consistent with Goodman's statements to us. I think if you mostly, though not entirely, tell the truth, that is called lying. And this is the most blatant case of strong arming we have ever seen, or at least the most blatant case we have been exposed to since the 1970s. I know Miami has ties to Pat Riley, but seriously, if Damian Lillard were to get his way here, this would have ramifications that would go beyond just the Portland Trailblazers. This entire situation is extremely important, and there's a reason why the NBA sent an actual memo out here? If Damian Lillard does fully get his way, well, that in itself would be sending a sign to the rest of the star players in the league. That would be saying, if you are a star, at this point, you can just do whatever you want. No questions asked. We currently already have Ben Simmons and Zion Williamson, two of the largest contracts in the league headed into 2024, and both of them are massive question marks at best. We have no idea what we are getting from two max level players end. 
the ramifications for that as an NBA franchise are certainly felt. You cannot compete in the NBA if one of your max level players is essentially a no-show. And so really, I think we have to ask ourselves, is this what we want? As fans, is any of this fun? James Harden demanding out of Houston for Brooklyn, then out of Brooklyn for Philly, then out of Philly for whoever. Same with Kyrie, same with several star players. And now here we go again. If Dame just gets his way, if Tyler Hero and some kind of trade package ends up in Portland, what is to stop this from happening to your favorite team? I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. We need all of the help we can get, trust me. Players essentially holding franchises hostage like this is not good for anyone. And so at this point, let's talk about Portland's loyalty to Dame because Portland has been extremely loyal to Dame. One, to the tune of $200 million and counting, but two, they have also essentially listened to every single one of Damian Lillard's requests. It was Dame that believed that he and CJ could work. They couldn't, but Portland listened to Dame instead of Logic. And so as a basketball fan, it does kind of bum me out to even make this video because I love basketball and I just want to watch Damian Lillard competing for a title. And once he does step on a basketball court with a new team, again, I love basketball, so I'm going to be very excited to see that happen, but the ramifications for what is happening are very extreme here. And so it's here where I think Austin Rivers really hammers home what it means to the players. If you are free agent, then you could choose where you were going to go. Right. That's the business. But when you're not and you sign a deal, man, that's part of the business, bro. If you get traded somewhere, like you got to go play, man. This started with like James and Ben and all these guys doing this. Shit. It's bad for the league. This is why our CBA deal that we just signed and you either make 50 million or two. It's a scary dynamic when, when stars start acting like this. It's just like, what does every other player do? So because you're a good player, like you just don't have to show up. So yes, it will be fun to see Dame on a new team, but at what cost? Seriously, we cannot forget about victims is a strong word here. So we'll say unintentional fall guys of Dame's extreme request because of Portland, a city that has proven to never be able to attract free agent talent so far has to trade their star player to Miami, a city that is so attractive. They were able to get LeBron James. Well, where does the balance go in the NBA? Portland is a city that relies on the draft and trades to build up their roster. If they are also now being put in a situation where they have to trade away the top talent that they themselves drafted to a city that has been proven to be able to attract free agent talent itself. I mean, we're just hitting levels of unfairness that are extreme. Portland has made it very clear. They do not want Tyler Hero. So if that is the case, what else is Miami doing? Well, somehow what Damian Lillard's agent is doing is putting out a statement that makes it seem like Damian Lillard is a victim here himself. Let's remember here. Portland has been nothing but loyal to Dame for 11 years. Dame is going to be making around 50 plus million dollars for the next three to four seasons. And Portland is willing to trade him to a championship contender. They are willing to work with him. He is not willing to work with them at all. He is the one that is saying Miami or bust. He is not saying I have five teams. Here we go. No, he is not allowing Portland anything in terms of negotiations with Miami, any sort of leverage. So from my point of view, this is a very tough situation for Portland. However, Dame's agent just recently said Dame's position won't change. This entire situation was about building an opportunity for Portland to win or giving him another opportunity that he wants, which is Miami. Reading into that quote, Dame's position won't change. Dame is signed to the Portland Trailblazers until 2026. It is then when he can decide to accept or decline a $63 million player option. Portland is in the position to trade him or not. His position would be to sit out of the games. That's really what his position would be here. And then also reading more into this quote, what is exactly this entire situation other than Damian Lillard looking out for himself? The message here was that despite the contract they already have in place, it was either build a contender around Dame, which Portland has tried to do, or trade Dame to exactly the place he wants to go with no in-between, as if this is at all fair to Portland's fan base at all, as if this is at all fair to Dame's teammates at all. Let's talk about Scoot Henderson for a second. Scoot was just the number two pick in the draft, and the belief is that Portland, again, a city that cannot attract free agent talent. Portland, I'm rooting for you, but we know history has shown us they just have not been able to do it. Portland just got the number two pick, and they believe they can build their entire franchise around him. In what way is it possibly fair to Scoot or to Portland to not get the best talent back possible for Damian Lillard if they are going to trade him? Portland has a responsibility to Scoot and to their fans 
Pirates to build around Scoot so that Scoot can develop into a franchise star himself. And so that this time, Portland can make a leap and win a championship. Instead, of course, with only one team to trade with, you are going to end up with a much less than optimal trade package. Scoot and the Trailblazers fan base could be sucked right back to where Damian Lillard had them before. I don't want to say it like that exactly, but in the middle of the pack with not enough top tier talent to get over the hump. So if slash when Dame gets traded, it's going to be exciting watching him play, of course. And in terms of work put into a franchise, Dame has been that guy for Portland for 11 seasons. And in that span in time, he has done so much for that franchise. So that really should be taken into account for you. The problem is he is going out in the worst way possible. If you really are a loyal guy, you show it all the way until the end. You're not just loyal when it's convenient to you. And so here, let's hit with some harsh truths. One, Portland just missed the playoffs two straight seasons in a row with Dame healthy as they allowed him to bet on himself and ran it back for him. That was his request. Two, in his entire career with Portland, the Blazers made the second round twice and the Western Conference Finals once. Other than that, they were a first round exit or out of the playoffs every other season. They did not win a ring with Dame, which is fine, but it is their mission still to bring their city a championship. That is their goal. That is what they view their obligation as to their fans and to their players. And three, being honest here, when Dame did have a chance to step up and possibly win a championship in 2019, the Toronto Raptors and Kawhi won. Kawhi stepped up. Dame, unfortunately, failed Portland when they needed him the most. Up until that point, he had essentially put out a persona that was a, I don't need anybody. I'm almost like Michael Jordan without Scottie Pippen. But the stats do not lie in the 2019 Western Conference Finals. The Blazers, with Dame as their number one guy by far, were swept and Dame averaged just 22.3 points per game on 37% shooting. I don't even want to go any further. I'm done with the Dame pilot. I think he's an incredible player. I think he's going to make an incredible addition to whatever team he is traded for. But I really just hope for the sake of Portland and for the sake of basketball going forward that everything ends up being fair here. Dame is an amazing player with an incredible work ethic who came from nothing and has been a truly massive success story. Hopefully this is just a blip in the radar. I respect a lot of what Dame has done in the past. One decision does not make a person, but there has to be a line somewhere here. And Dame is making $50 million and Portland is willing to move him to a contending roster. That sounds like a fair deal to me, Dame. Not sure what else to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video in the future. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.